it's shy and i'm back with another video in this video we're going to be talking about the build that i put on tiktok it was the inside the arc maestro build and it gives me shades of lebron james scotty chicken and jason tatum and i'm doing things like this you probably seen these clips on tiktok but just in case you didn't i'm gonna drop a few clips to show you some of the things that this build does I think this build is great for anybody who plays a small forward and just wants to help their team win all around. And I will admit this build is very niche. It's a very niche build and it's not for everyone. But it fits my playstyle the best and I was able to make it. And when I saw the name and I saw the comparisons, I was like, you know what? This is actually probably the build for me. So I went with it and I tested it and I actually love how it plays. So let me know in the comments if you guys mess with this build or if it fits your playstyle. Here are the physicals. Um, a small forward, 6'10", 214, 71 wingspan. Now, I did this because at 6'9", or 6'8", there's not much of a height advantage and you don't get to shoot over people. So that's why I went with 6'10 for this build. Now, here are the attributes. So for your close shot, I went with a 61 close shot. For the driving layup, we went with an 80 driving layup because I think you unlock Zion's at a 79 driving layup, so and that's the layup package that I want. We went for an 89 driving dunk on this build for the contact dunks. I went for a 54 standing dunk and a 85 post control for that silver unpluckable and a silver back down punisher. The build gets gold drop stepper, a Hall of Fame post fade phenom. Now moving on to the shooting, we put an 86 mid-range on this build so that we could get that gold catch and shoot, silver blinders, silver dead eye, silver green machine, and gold guard up. And for all y'all saying that that's not enough to shoot, that's cap. I green consistently. You just need to know your shot. You need your hot zones and you'll be good. I went for a 67 free throw because if you know your release, you can green and wreck consistently with a 67 free throw. I feel like this is where the build gets fun. I went for a 91 pass accuracy so I can get silver bell out, gold break starter, gold dimer, gold needle threader, gold post playmaker, gold relay passer, and gold touch passer. These are all badges that I feel like are gonna help me and my team win in the wreck, and that's why I really wanted to make this build. Sometimes my teammates need somebody that can play make off the ball and not have to have the ball in their hands at all times. I went for a 75 ball handle, these are some of the badges that I get. The gold physical handles is key to this build. And for speed with ball, we went for a 70. We get that Hall of Fame big driver. That's gonna be huge. You also get bronze blow by and hyper drive, but eh. Hall of Fame big driver is what we really want. Now here's where the controversy starts with this build. I went for a 74 interior defense so I can get silver anchor, bronze post lockdown, and silver workhorse. Um, and for perimeter defense, I only went with 44, only because 6'10s don't get 94 feet or clamps. So to me, it felt kind of pointless, but I still put it up a little bit, just a tad. For steel, I went for a 60 bronze interceptor. And for block, we went with that 87 block to help with that anchor badge. For defensive rebounds, we went with a 78 so we could get that silver box out be silver proglistic and the bronze rebound chaser now i have to stress that this build is best ran at the three i run with five and this is where my build thrives the build thrives playing at the small forward you're gonna out rebound other small forwards you're gonna you're gonna be able to baby them you're gonna be able to play make you're gonna be able to dunk you're gonna be able to shoot you're gonna be able to do all these things and that's why i say that the build is very niche and it's and it fits a very specific type of play style. For our speed, we went with a 74 speed. We went with a 69 acceleration, a 84 strength, a 80 vertical, and a 95 stamina. All of these stats are very crucial to the badges that we get. We get gold chase down, we get that silver movable enforcer. Um, I think this build is very good. I personally love this build. This is definitely my go-to build, my number one build right now. So when you finalize the build, you should receive these three shades of LeBron James, Scottie Pippen, and Jason Tatum, and you're going to be called an Inside the Arc Maestro. Now, I have to say, before you make this build, 
check out some clips of the build on my TikTok to see if it fits your playstyle. It definitely fits mine, and I love this build. It's my favorite build right now.